Hello everybody, one more time, thank you so much for being with us. My name is Alex Centeno and I'm with Mercados Interactive Partners. In this episode, I'm going to continue using our favorite new tool, Fake Browser, uh, this automation tool that is fantastic. And in this episode, I wanna show you how to inject your favorite framework. Uh, in this case, I'm gonna be using jQuery, uh, but you can use uh, any JavaScript frame framework that you want to use in a particular page. So. Um, let's just, for example, go to yahoo.com. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first of all load a URL, which is going to be yahoo.com. Then I am going to insert the code for my favorite framework, in this case, BigQuery. And as you can see, I have, I'm using also text expander to expand uh, a snippet so that I don't have to go and copy and paste the JavaScript library uh, here. Then I'm going to take another do JavaScript and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use traditional jQuery code. So I'm going to select the images of the page and I'm going to add a class of CSS that basically says take the visibility of the images and make, make them hide. So it's basically going to get rid of, of the images of the page. So let's load it and see what happens. And it loads yahoo.com, runs the JavaScript, and then gets rid of the images. The reason this images is still uh, running is because it's not exactly an image. It's, it's using uh, Flash. So that's why this one is still there. Um, so great tool. Uh, it's fantastic because you can do this with whatever website you you want to do and you can automate uh, the process and you for example could uh, say uh, that you want to go to certain websites and take screenshots of those websites but you want the screenshots without any images for example um, or you could do anything uh, once you are using the framework so for example instead of like changing the visibility we could actually take it uh, we, we could take the images and add a border if we want it so we are adding to every image in the page we're adding a border i'm sure that you can think of of great ways of using this but um, by injecting your uh, your framework you don't have to use necessarily the traditional javascript you can use your framework i hope that this is helpful and uh, i'll see you next time thank you and have a good night Bye bye